the Okanagan Indians are a salmon people and the lake, the river, the valley, that's our life. That's water and salmon. They have everything to do with how we've ever lived and how we are going to live. It's our spirit. It's our sumich, our power, if you wish. And it's always been part of everything that we do, every decision that we make is reflected in the caring for the thing that cares for us, which is the salmon. The water management in the past, for, from our perspective, hasn't been the greatest. Communication was an issue, trust was an issue, and it's taken quite a while to build up that trust and that respect for, for the people that are involved in water management and trying to understand you know, the other party's perspective and where they're coming from in water management. Historically, the Okanagans have harvested sockeye, chinook, coho, rainbow, steelhead, all from, from the Okanagan River and from the lakes. And so it's been extremely important. And ever since the 50s when the salmon stocks have declined, it's been pretty traumatic uh, culturally and for, for subsistence. It wasn't until the early 90s that people really started putting an effort behind their restoration. So they began an effort which included hatchery programs, habitat restoration actions, water management actions to help restore the sockeye salmon. The stock has come back and our people are able to go out and fish. They've had an economic fishery, we've had our food fisheries, we've had our ceremonial fisheries. So the fact that we're here bringing them back, it's, it's pretty important to me because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's reconnecting it's both uh, culturally and for food. Uh, we have a first salmon ceremony where we celebrate the return of the salmon to our area and that's showing our honor and our respect for that resource so that it continues to come back and provide for, for our people, for our families. Thank <laughs> you.